Okay, now I'm going to get into the examples of ways that I commonly use the brain that I now use Rome for. Uh, the first thing is I would often use it live when taking notes for an item. Go to this uh, Metaphors of Movement course that I went through, and one of the things Andrew Austin talks about in this course was the six descriptions of suffering. So when he talks about that, I sort of have to go back up to that parent node, find the right node to get it under, then I do the six descriptions of suffering, then I would uh, drag and add each description of suffering and then uh, I would add notes to each part that was important. The way I do it in the brain is that anytime I'm taking notes, those notes live on a single page, a single parent node in the brain. So I have the six descriptions of suffering here and I made that its own node by making it a link. Now I don't have to do that again, I could just zoom in, but making it its own page has some really powerful tools that I can do with it. So now I have that six descriptions of suffering page and then underneath each of those, I've added the other, the, uh, other examples. Okay. So I have these six examples underneath the, st the six descriptions of metaphor. Um, and I've made this on one single page, but what's really powerful about Rome is if I now go to the six descriptions of metaphor page, or sorry, the six descriptions of suffering page, it shows me in context where I mentioned the six descriptions of suffering there. So it's basically the same as if I were to go to this page and take notes, but I don't have to worry about keeping switching to the, to the correct node. I just start on uh, the note taking page. I link, I link using the double bracket or the double parentheses notation, and then that automatically gets pulled in to the relevant context for the two way link. Uh, super, super powerful. Okay, so that's taking notes. Um, and, uh, and again, I just uh, would quickly type in, in, in this fashion, the notes, and then uh, link things as needed, either during the note taking or after just saying, oh, that should be double bracketed. I can quickly highlight something, press left bracket twice, and it'll automatically double bracket that idea. Powerful, all right. So next thing I commonly use the brain for was creating walkthrough processes. I'm gonna use this process I created in the brain called the ease process. So the ease process is a way to debug your mind. So in the brain, the way I do processes, and this is basically a hack because the brain is very bad at representing uh, ordered children relationships, is that I create each process as uh, each step in the process as a subsequent step of the thesis process. And this allows me to sort of walk through the process, seeing what, uh, what tools I can use at each step and seeing what the next step in the process is. Now, if I want to do that same thing in the brain, once again, I'm just going to create it as a single page here. Um, now you notice that both the brain and Rome have namespacing. So in the brain, namespacing is done with this comma. The similar and uh, Rome also has namespacing and the way they do it is with a slash. So I simply do the name and then a slash and then I press control C L and it gives me this namespacing feature. Okay. And then I can uh, create Within that, within, you know, underneath each thing, I can either on that page or below add uh, things it's related to, uh, tools I can use, etc. Now, if I want to, in the Rome instance of this, if I want to be able to, like the brain, just focus in on a single step in the process without seeing all the other steps. Again, all I gotta do is click on that little bullet there. And then that's just gonna show me in context that one step. Now there used to be a way in the brain, uh, I could press control C M and it would take me to the next or previous step in the process. Uh, I can't do that right now. So again, the brain is highly valuable for uh, this sort of work. Now, the last way that I would use the brain 
is I would use it to uh, brainstorm associations. When I was thinking about a topic, I would just basically uh, start on one thing and think, okay, what are the things related to this that are important? And I would sort of use that to build out a uh, ontology, a dichotomy of what I was working on. Um, the brain is this, I would think of all the things that, uh, that Rome does, I would think this is the least, uh, the least good it is compared to the brain. So if I'm brainstorming about X, Y, Z, and I think, oh, uh, X, Y, Z is related to ABC. Um, and then I think, oh, ABC is related to something else. It's a little bit tricky. I have to go over to here, and now I'm in a separate context. I can say that's related to LMP. Now, I guess uh, one way to do this is to actually use the brains feature right here. Um, and then I can uh, and then I can sort of traverse back and forth. I can double click on any of these to go to the page. This makes it slightly better and more brain like. Uh, but I'm typically in the brain, I'm typically using both mouse and keyboard. In Rome, I'm typically doing keyboard only. So having to switch to this mouse suddenly to do this, not being able to create new associations right from here, I sort of have to switch back and forth between this view and this view to create associations a little bit harder. So the sort of rapid fire associations, I would say the brain wins. Everything else, uh, Rome, I think, is way more natural, uh, way more powerful. And uh, I see myself using it long term for almost everything. So definitely check it out and I'll see you soon.